So this will just be a very quick video as I have a project coming up where I need to deliver 4x3 ratio but I really do love the anamorphic look and I think it would fit that project quite nicely. But what an anamorphic lens does, it squeezes it horizontally. So even if your sensor is 4x3 ratio, it squeezes it out so it's even wider than 16x9. I was thinking to maybe just take off the lens from the camera and adjust it 90 degrees so that it's upside down. And the reason why you can do that is because it's a PL mount, so you can attach it four different ways and just turn the lens 90 degrees. Instead of having the pupil uh, vertically, it's now horizontally, which means it squeezes it out uh, vertically. But just filming like this, I noticed that you still have a horizontal sensor with a vertical image, so all your flares is going vertically instead of horizontally. And it looks kind of weird, so what I then thought, I know I'm not the first one to think this, but if you just turn the camera as well vertically, so now you have a vertical sensor with a horizontal lens that squeezes it out horizontally, I'm ending up with an image that is even narrower than the open gate in the Lumix camera. But I'm quite pleased with the character you get. Instead of having the anamorphic characteristics in the various sides, you now get them in the top and in the bottom. You still get horizontal flares. It just gets a little bit more awkward to hold the camera because, you know, everything is made to be horizontally, but now you're holding it vertically. So I tried having a DJI Focus Pro and a handle on the side and a monitor and everything, but it just ended up being quite weird to hold. So at the end, I just used the monitor and that's it. And uh, yeah, enjoy. After months of cold and bitter winter days, it finally started being plus degrees outside. And it's a perfect day for outside chores like cleaning behind the garage, washing the car, staining the terrace, or just picking weeds. Ah, there's also the outside furniture that needs to be prepped for the summer. I see they also need to be stained. Well, there's plenty of time for that after I've checked on the greens. Hmm, the first rows seem to be blooming, so I guess it's time to sow a few more rows. Hmm, but now where did I put the seeds? Ah, there they are. Oh, wait. I should probably assemble the grill that I bought last year. Ah, we'll do the seeds later. <sighs> Though I'm feeling a little bit snackish. that the trash also needs to be taken out. But, oh, maybe I'll just make some coffee first. I guess while I'm enjoying the coffee, I can do some editing. Oh, right, it's tax season. Probably shouldn't have opened YouTube. But oh well, let's start assembling the grill. So as I was wearing the meta glasses throughout the whole video, I have a few behind the scenes to show you. But basically, you need a monitor that is capable of doing a custom de-squeeze. Because now instead of having an anamorphic 1.5 stretch, you get 0 0.5. So uh, you need to, instead of squeezing out the image that way, you need to squeeze it out that way in the monitor. And that's not all of the monitors that's possible to do that with. But this Portkeys LH7P is possible to do that with. Using the Focus Pro got a bit too bulky because then I need to add more shit here when it's just a few shots that I need with anamorphic lens. So usually I will be shooting like this, taking off the monitor from this side, taking it on on this side and just holding like this and focusing manually. This works for this project and I'm sure it works in the future as well. And I have a built-in ND filter on the PL adapter, so that's quite convenient. But yeah, that was the video. Thank you so much for watching and consider watching this video next and hitting subscribe and hopefully I'll see you again. Have a good spring.